Hey, Thomas from Field Tennis. Just a quick introduction before you get started with the video. So today's topic is hitting the ball at medium height. And I've already published how to handle low contact balls. If you haven't watched that, there's a card above that you can click or the link in the description. And if you're watching this at a later date, then the high contact balls video is already published. So I also share the link in the description. So today we're looking at medium height. So I will share pros, cons, most common mistakes and the main tactical guideline. So let's get the video rolling. All right, so <clears throat> what are the pros of hitting the ball at medium height? So that's around waist height, somewhere around here. Well, this is the most common ball. So players will hit at this height the most times and that makes it, uh, they become comfortable with it. So maybe lower level, not so comfortable. I will talk about the cons of this and the biggest mistake. So that could be one problem for maybe 3-0 or lower level players that they are still not comfortable at this height. So the pros are that from, from this height you are basically playing at maximum speed. So this is from here you're trying to create pressure but it's not ideal for precision. So this is the ball that we play with big shot, big target. So remember that saying. I think I learned that from Nick Bulletieri maybe. 25 years ago very simple guideline so I'm going for big pressure shots uh, heavy balls I'm going for heavy balls so maximum speed and spin where I'm still consistent and I go into bigger targets and I try to apply pressure to my opponent making them move or with speed uh, another point to mention is that we can play equally well in neutral stance and open stance so a skilled player is perfectly fine hitting at this height in neutral and open stance. Let me try a few that you see. So I'm getting the ball here. I can very nicely rotate into the ball or I play open stance and it works just fine. So neutral stance, good height of the ball, it works. Open stance, it works very nice. So both stances should be fine at this height. All right, so what's the con? What's the negative side of this contact point? For a higher skilled tennis player, there is no disadvantage. This is a very good contact point. Uh, they are still able to find a good downward swing. Some of the downward swing, they are still relaxed. They know how to swing. Uh, they can attack, they can play from all stances. So obviously, no big disadvantage for this height for a good player but for lower level players let's say 3-0 and lower what will tend to happen is that they don't find the swing and also tactically they don't understand the game yet so well so what they want to do is they play too linear so they're picturing they're thinking oh because the ball is at this height I can just hit it straight I don't need much arc and so because of this and because they are tense they these two ideas, so th hitting linearly and also not being able to find the swing makes a very linear and stiff stroke. So let me try and demonstrate how that looks like. So maybe player is kind of hitting like this. So it's a stiff linear stroke and they don't get good power. and the ball is short so as soon as it's not high enough if it goes so flat the ball is short it lands right into the strike zone of their opponent and they can hit a good shot so you have to be careful about that from this height don't think linear always hit the ball up with some arc use a good leg drive give the ball good depth and height and create trouble and pressure for your opponent 
All right, so medium height ball is the ball that we hit most of the time, medium contact point. Uh, like I mentioned, lower level players make a mistake of hitting it too flat, too low. So they're a bit tight and they don't get good effect on the ball, but uh, try to see what I do and also good players. So we're trying to hit a heavy ball. I want to give the ball some arc. I can hit with good speed. Again, I'm going into big targets. So roughly here and I want to create time pressure for my opponent. This is the ball that I can hit the most with the most power. Of course, I'm trying to stay consistent. So I'm still hitting probably 90 percent safe, 85 percent safe. But I'm trying to create pressure and build the point, maybe force a shorter ball from where I can hit with an angle. So right now, first I will show when I'm hitting medium contact point and I'm behind the baseline. So I would go big shot, big target. This one was a bit shorter, but the shot is kind of right. So I'm here. I'm going for a big target. I'm a bit afraid to hit Kaya. So, OK, that's the right ball I want to go. This one is the right ball. I try back end. So this one's a bit lower contact. It's comfortable for me. If it's a bit medium, so again, I'm going for, for good shots and I get some variation just because of difficulty of the ball. So again, you see, that was about the height of Kaya's head and the ball is in. And so it's going to get a good bounce. It has good height coming down with spin, bouncing up high. So causing problems to my opponent, it's difficult for them to middle the ball. They can miss hit quickly and I get a shorter ball. So that's the second variation. What if I have a medium contact ball, but I'm a bit inside the court? Again, uh, it might be a bit counterintuitive for you, but I personally would not go for even more power because more power, less precision. So I'm going maybe slightly less power, a bit more spin and more precision. So Kaya, a bit inside the court, medium height, somewhere here. Again, I'm trying to find that angle, the same angle that I was hitting when I got a lower contact point. So yeah, something like this, you see close to the line. Yeah. Okay. We try back end. So I'm a bit inside the court. I have medium. Yes. And I'm pulling immediately opponent out of the court. So that's what I'd be. This one's about this much out, but just that you get the idea. So if I get a shorter ball, it's medium height. I am mostly looking to open up the court if I can and build the point from there.